Jet fighters bombed the palace. We all watched it on TV. The 11th of September, 1973. All across the world, people cried in vain as we heard stories of the people being tortured and slain. Stories of the workers, shop stewards and the rest being slaughtered at the new dictator's behest. Labor groups condemned it, said we were on the worker's side, including all the engineers of East Kilbride. People organized a boycott of General Pinochet, who had overthrown Allende with a hawker hunter jet. Then a few months later, March of 74, Bob Fulton came to work at the Rolls-Royce factory floor. He looked at the orders that had come in that day and found crates with jet engines from Chile. Jet engines from the Air Force across the ocean wide sent to be repaired in East Kilbride. didn't take a minute for Fulton and his mates to come to the decision. They would not touch these crates. Soon 4,000 Rolls Royce workers voted they agreed to stand with the Chileans in their hour of need. Management decried them, the Tories screamed and cussed. But the Hawker Hunter engines were left to sit and rust. Nowhere else on earth were workers qualified to repair the engine sitting there in East Kilbride. It's often hard to know if you've changed anything a whit. But decades later, a Chilean general would admit for a time in Santiago, there were no fighters in the sky because the whole Chilean Air Force had not one jet that could fly. They may not have changed the world, this group of Union engineers, but these crates of metal sat corroding for four years. So here's the British labor, how for four years it tried to do what could be done from East Kilbride. Jet fighters bombed the palace. We all watched it on TV. The 11th of September, 1973.